So let's talk a little bit about text-to-speech. So text-to-speech means some type of text. So a PDF, a scan, a book, a textbook, a paper, an essay, article, whatever it is being spoken out loud to you. Speech. By having a text-to-speech app, it means you can do it on your own time, right? So you're not trying to have someone read it out loud to you. You're not trying to um, have a tutor do it. And then it's kind of on their schedule, but you need to do it on your time, especially in college. Sometimes like that 30 minutes between class is when you have to read this article for your next class. And by having apps that do it for you, you do it on your own time, it's easy. And for people, especially people like me who have dyslexia or any type of reading challenge, if it's read out loud to you, you'll then understand the content better. Because if I'm trying to read something, I get so focused on what does that word say? How do you say it? How do you pronounce it? What's the meaning? I have to reread this entire sentence to understand it. You lose the actual content of what you're reading. So having it read out loud to you allows you to understand it and grasp the concept better. So there are several different apps for this, ones like Audibles and Kurzweil. I love Kurzweil, I love Audibles, but I love Voice Dream Reader, especially with my iPad. I love the tools, I love how simple the, out, the layout is, but you can still change the settings to fit exactly what you need. It's a really great medium place, but you still have the text in front of you, right? So like in Audibles, you could download maybe a textbook or a book you have to read, but you don't also get the visual of the words. And so taking notes can be difficult and you can lose your place sometimes. And I love Kurzweil, I really do, but I find that that layout can be a little bit more complicated and busy on my eyes. So although I really love it and I do a lot of exams in Kurzweil, for most things, I like Voice Dream Reader better. So let's open up Voice Dream Reader. You can download PDFs, um, entire textbooks, you can get alternative text and download entire textbooks into Voice Dream Reader, which is what I've done. Or you can also just download an article that a professor gave you. Let's take a look at what the layout looks like. So this is the home page. You can have it in this setting, or if you go down here, you can also do um, this version where you have it more like linear versus just all at once. I like this format because I'm a visual person. So seeing the images and the cover pages of the books is more useful to me than seeing the titles. So let's open up just an article I had to read for class. This is a fantastic article. Um, if you have time, I actually recommend to read it. It was really great and it's not that long. So you can see at the bottom, you have a lot of your settings. You can see that it has three pages. We haven't run anything. We're at the very beginning. So we're at 0% and it will tell me that at the current speed, it will take me seven minutes and 19 seconds to read. So you have all that information, which can help a lot with time management. You're like, okay, I need to read this article of school. Let me see how long it's going to take the program to read it. And then it will help you better time manage. So the functions are very simple. Play, skip forward five seconds. And then this button will take you to the next article in your library. So when you click play. Racism and homophobia are real conditions of all our lives in this place and this should pop up. The master's tools will never dismantle the master's. So I have it set so that it highlights the line in one color, which is yellow. And then it highlights the specific word that it's reading at that time in orange. For me, this helps with my eye tracking. You can take this away or change it depending on what you need. But this specific setup is what I've done to help me track. I like reading along with it, hearing it and seeing it at the same time. It helps my brain process the information better. 
it also helps me take notes because then if I'm like, oh, pause, I loved that quote. I can see exactly what it was saying. I don't miss it or have to try to remember it when it's just like an audio book. I can also visually see it. So some of the other settings that you use are up here. If you click this, this is where you'll see how many words per minute. So this is 20. If I make it go faster, you'll see that how long it will take me has changed because it's going faster, it's talking faster, so it'll take me less time. You can change the language, the voice. You can even change skip insight citation because I find on like really big textbooks that takes up a lot of space, a ton of different settings that you can make to specify specifically to you. To fit whatever you need. Change the voice. I currently have Aaron. I think he works great. <laughs> you can add other voices, manage Aaron's voice. It goes very in detail, but also just the basic line when it's at can be helpful. But if you do feel like you need more specificity, you can totally go through and change exact settings. Right next to that, you got the capital A with the little a. This is more about the layout of the page. This only does original. You can change the color setting. So right, I said my highlighter when I highlight is gonna be green. The spoken word is orange like we saw and the highlighted line is yellow. You can change these to whatever color you'd like. I like this original. Your dark settings, this is where the text is white and the background's black. Custom settings, you can change the background to whatever color fits your eyes best and what feels most comfortable. They've also got this thing called plain text. So this is the original layout. If you click plain text, it looks like this. Everything goes to the side. I don't like plain text a lot. I prefer original, but it's really up to what you prefer. So like I said, you can highlight and add notes within Voice Dream Reader. So if there's a sentence I really like, so this has an example, for example, in a paper material relationship between a woman. So I hold down and I can drag these two little dots to whatever I need. Let's go to the end of the sentence. I can highlight. So it's in green because that's my highlight color. If I go to another word, I can add a bookmark and you'll see this here. Or I can add a note, whatever note I want, hi, whatever that is. And then let's say, so this article is only three pages, but let's say you have like an 18 page article or even like a 40 page article. You make the notes, you read it, you go through, and then you get to class and you have to like scroll through all the pages to find your notes. You don't have to do that. You go down here to these three dots and three lines, click on it, and you'll be able to see these are all the bookmarks I've made. These are all the highlights and notes I've made. It's all right here. You can click on it. It will go to it. It will jump. In a paper on material relationships between women. You can click play and it will start reading out whatever you highlighted and start from that moment. There's no step of having to search for things. It's right there. It makes it so much simpler. Speaking of searching for things, one of my favorite things about this. So let's say you're writing a paper and you have this really big textbook and you need to find this one piece of information, but you don't know what page it's on or you don't know where it is and you need to find it. You can just look it up. So Right here, there's this little magnifying glass. If you click on it, you could look up any word here. Let's look up power and then search. 
This will show me every single time in this article power is said. Quite a few times. Theory, or heterosexuality and power. And what does it mean in personal and political? And I can click on it and go to it. And it will start reading a little bit in front of the word, like the sentence in front. And then you can find the piece of information you need. So when I'm doing a paper and I need this specific word or this specific concept, I can just look it up in the book. One, I know I'm getting the correct answer because it's the book. And two, it makes it so much simpler instead of flipping through pages, going to the index, trying to find it. It's just right there. Another way I love using this function is I have this one class this semester where we have reading checks each week and they're open book and open note. So I can just look up the word. If there's a keyword in the question, I can look it up. Or if your professor gave you like a work page where they want you to answer these things and it's homework, you can use the book. You can just look up the keywords. It makes homework, it makes it so much more accessible instead of having this big textbook. It makes it accessible. I don't have to read through a ton of paragraphs to find the exact paragraph I need. I can just look it up. It does involve some tricks of looking up keywords and things like that, but it simplifies that process. It, it creates half the work that I have to do and it cuts it in half and I, and I can focus on the content a lot more than my brain trying to manage a ton of different things because my brain gets overwhelmed. It can't do all those things. It's too much. It's not wired that way. So I found these tools so that I can work with my brain and work with the way that it thinks versus working against it. And I think that's one of the really big concepts, right? We want to work with our disabilities. The more you fight against a disability, the more it's just going to fight back. Trust me, I've been fighting my disabilities since high school. But Voice Dream Reader really helps and supports in that way. So me being dyslexic and not reading at the level I need to be for college, this cuts out that work. It reads for me. I can understand these concepts. I can get it. I can talk about it. I can discuss it in class. I can write about it. Just because I can't read it doesn't mean I can't understand it. And Voice Dream Reader cuts out that need to, to read things and I can skip straight to the understanding and doing part of it. So this is one of the reasons I love it. There's lots of more settings to play around with, obviously. You can click this just to go back to library and here you are. I really love this app. I use it every semester since I've started at Curry. Um, it's really amazing and I highly recommend.